What's up cubers, my name is Kenneth. Today I'm gonna to be talking about these two tree Rubik's cubes that I made in honor of Team Trees, which is YouTube's biggest collaboration ever to uh, raise $20 million to plant 20 million trees by the year 2020, which I think is a really awesome project. Uh, it started with Mr. Beast and Mark Robert. Uh, they're organizing this event in honor of Mr. Beast's 20 million subscribers. And it really was a fan initiated uh, idea, which I think is super awesome. So I think it's a great uh, opportunity. It's being led by the Arbor Day Foundation and for every dollar uh, donated, they, they have pledged to plant a tree. And I think that's super cool. So uh, I'm donating and trying to help out. And I thought I'd make this video and be part of, you know, really a movement. Like it's like uh, the probably a really great thing to remember 2019 for something that uh, we all kind of helped out uh, with before 2020. So I think it's a really great idea. So I really wanted to support it. So I made this two by two tree and the way I did it was I actually found this model on Thingiverse and I brought that into Fusion 360. I, I cut it up and I created these extensions that I then super glued onto an Ishin 2x2. So here's an Ishin 2x2. I found a bag of these laying around. I had five of them that I probably got almost 10 years ago and they've just been sitting around and so uh, this is a great project for them. So I was able to just super glue these extensions on a, a two by two and boom, now I've got this really cool tree two by two. It looks really awesome when it's all scrambled up and I'm really excited about it. So I printed this on my CR10. I actually have two 3D printers. I also have a Prusa uh, i3 Mark III and uh, it's actually been broken for a while. I've been really disappointed. I was talking to my dad about it and he actually volunteered to fix it for me, which was really nice. So he actually took it and fixed it. And not only did he fix it, he actually upgraded it to be a multi-material printer. So I actually redesigned it so that I could print this in multi-materials. So as you can see, I've got a green top and I also have a wood base for the trunk and it's actually printed in a wood-based PLA plastic. Uh, which it turned out really great. It looks like a real tree now. It's got uh, you know a wooden trunk and green leaves. And uh, you know I'm really I'm really pleased with the way it turned out. I'm really excited now to have a multi-material printer. I can do a lot of fun things with it, and uh, including making this little uh, two by two tree. So here's here's what the two by two tree looks like, all scrambled up. Uh, I think it looks really great. It's actually really difficult to solve because the four pieces on top look the same and the four pieces on bottom look the same. However, they're not the same. And so you have to make sure you're putting them right next to each other, the right ones next to each other. And it's actually a lot harder than it might seem. For instance, these two pieces here, uh, they don't actually go together. You can see the lines don't kind of continue across. So it's a mix between like a jigsaw puzzle and a Rubik's cube, which is a lot of fun. So uh, I'm gonna actually solve it now and see how long it takes. Okay, that looks pretty scrambled. So on your mark, get set, and go. That looks right. Mm. That looks right too. Okay, so I got the top down, now I need to do the bottom. Okay, just my orient them first. So I, uh, I actually got lucky. I just oriented to the bottom corners and they happened to be permuted correctly. So uh, I solved it a lot faster and a lot easier than I expected, which is uh, a kind of a lucky coincidence. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on these little two by two trees and on team trees. Definitely uh, support that support it if you can. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks guys for watching. And of course, have a great day.